the hymn this morning, hymn number 747, All People That On Earth Do Dwell, on the Feast of St. Agatha, 3rd century virgin and martyr, St. Agatha. Hymn number 747. All people that are heard to dwell, sing to the Lord with cheerful voice. In surf with mirth his praise foretell. Come we before him and rejoice. Know that the Lord is God in Chosen 
a people so vast that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish the right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon made this request. So God said to him, Because you have asked for this, not for a long life for yourself, nor for riches, nor for the life of your enemies, but for understanding that you may know what is right, I do as you requested. I give you hearts so wise and understanding that there has never been anyone like you up to now. And after you, there will come no one to equal you. In addition, I give you what you have not asked for, such riches and glory that among kings there is not like them, not your life. The word of the Lord. This one so your song. Lord, teach me your statutes. How shall a young man be faultless in his way by keeping to your words? With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commandments. Within my heart I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. In the way of your decrees I rejoice as much as in all riches.
instead an understanding or a listening heart. The people gathered around Jesus also to listen, uh, to absorb uh, the, the wisdom that he was able to uh, uh, exude from who he was and the hunger that the people knew they had for us to um, to listen it's for counselors a, a trained skill that they learn uh, when they're with a, a uh, client to not just explode out their own knowledge but to truly listen and try to listen deeply as to what the people are saying, the individuals, uh, we too can all pray for uh, that listening heart that uh, allows the Lord to speak to us, allows that shepherd to uh, respond to us, even when we can appreciate the weariness Jesus must have had just wanting to get away, and yet uh, is true. Humanity and divinity came out when he expressed something that the people wanted to hear and were uh, hungry to hear. to express to you now our petitions and prayers, knowing that as the Good Shepherd you are listening. In the spirit of St. Agatha and her struggles, we, we pray for those who are dealing with breast cancer or sexual assault. May they find healing and hope, we pray to the Lord. As we conclude Catholic School Week, we again pray in gratitude for our teachers, our principal, our students, and parents who have invested themselves uh, with the assistance of our parish in quality Catholic education. May that continue to be offered, we pray to the Lord. We offer our petitions along with that for Utilio Lopez, Antonio Lopez, and Catalina Maldonado. We pray to the Lord. Continue to plant within us that understanding heart that opens us to the grace of your wisdom. This we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer fruit of the earth, work of human hands, and becomes the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer fruit of the earth, work of human hands, becomes our spiritual drink. We pray then, brothers and sisters, that these gifts be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father and Creator.
may the offering we bring in celebration of blessed Agatha win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion were pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you give firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out. And without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy God. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition to Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts. These offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all those who holy to the truth hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and those who are dear to them, in the hope of health and well-being, while paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living in truth. In communing with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious of a Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers and all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Please, O oh God, we pray, bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, Jesus took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, his Almighty Father, he gave you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, again giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, 
as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, the spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly confidence, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may it be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember, Lord, your servants who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith and rest and the sleep of peace.
Here is Christ, our light, our life. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. 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 Body of Body of Christ. Body of Christ. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Agatha a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of the sacrament that, bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. We've gathered in the blessing of God's word and sacrament, we go forth to live the good news. Amen. Thanks be to God. Our processional hymn, hymn number 638. I has not seen. Six 
within your peaceful world. 